someday you're going to go live and not know it and people are going to hear how you cuss me in. <laughs> we are live now, Bob. Uh-huh. See? I, Crip Keeper, Mickey M, Mike, Bunny Viper, Grasshopper. Hello, everybody. I have no idea who's coming. I sent out the invitations, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to look real quick and see if anybody's answered me. Hey, Bunny, but the, uh, the notification just went out too. So I posted it. I shared it out on uh, Tennessee Fish Mafia, Facebook, and Fish Tubers Notifications Facebook. Ed says he's going to be late because he's on his way home from Knoxville. Oh, so Knoxville. I'll watch, keep watching for him. Yeah, there was a club meeting up there today, Knoxville Aquarium Club. And Blackie says we can't make it today. Big day in the city yesterday. Now too much to do today. Oh, I so hope she was at a, them. I hope she was selling art. Priscilla sent a heart, which I don't know if that means she's going to come or not. That sounds she might, favorable. She might still be at work. Yeah. Now so that's what's going on over. with our guests. If she's anybody just... else wants to come up, I'm I, Night Stalker Paranormal. It's good to see you in here. I'm going to throw up the... The link if anybody wants to come up and join us while we wait for some of the other artists to get here. Is that what, like a link of sausage or? Yeah, a sausage link. I'm going to throw a sausage link up. I might come for that. <laughs> come up for that. Kiwi, hello. And I'll pin that to the top. Hey, Kiwi. So anybody's welcome if you have something to talk about or um, if you want to come up and do art with us. Everybody is always welcome. As this long as you have on, that's the only prerequisite is, is clothes. Well, that's no fun. Um, I know Fish Dream said something about doing some art. Maybe she'll come in. That would be awesome. Yep. I told her last week she was welcome to come up anytime she wanted to. Yep. Which is, of course, an open invitation. Let's see if I can get my... An open invocation or yeah. invitation? Invocation. invocation. <laughs> Hey, Crip Keeper. I can't remember who you said hi to now. Not Stalker. You know, I'm going to have to have me some special glasses made just for, you know, why couldn't they put the, the, uh, the bifocal part, the magnification part at top, just for reading or because I never can look through that because I have to go like that. I don't get how. I guess people look down to read. Yeah, but mostly, or they used to, but I it got seems like with the that. popularity of computers and stuff that they would change that. But yeah. you know, it takes technology a little while to catch up. They have those uh, transition glasses that do that, and I tried them while I was still working, and they gave me such a headache. I made them take them back and give me back over. Mike says his coffee's ready. I got mine ready. Yep. I just sat down with it when you commenced to cuss and it went live. <laughs> it is. It was hot here today. It got up over 80. Summer's here. We kind of went from winter to um, summer with no spring. I don't know how hot it was here today. I think I noticed 80 something a couple times on my phone. I thought about mowing the yard, and then I chopped myself out of that. It'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm going to do some stuff outside tomorrow, too. It's 77 here right now with the sun is setting, so. Oh, wow. Switch. Yeah, it's warm. But it gave him a headache. Why do you have it switched to uh, Grasshopper, the ones at the top? 100. It's, 
it's definitely getting warmer because we only used to ever have, you know, like maybe a day or two in the 80s for the whole summer. Really? And here it is, June. And we've got some days in the 80s this week. They say the globe, globe is warming. Yep, well, I do believe them. I do too, because we don't ever get any. Yeah, it's supposed to be 86 tomorrow, which is like... Oh, hell. I mean, you got to consider the fact that this is Wyoming, and um, I'm sitting at 7,165 feet above sea level. So for it to be 86 degrees in June is is pretty damn warm. And we've got Thursday and Friday, are both, and Saturday are all going to be in the 80s too, as well as Sunday and Monday. So yeah, this... I think is our new norm, but it never used to be. We never used to get that warm. What do you got? A vacation Bible school? Well, it's a flyer that came in the mail a couple of days ago, and I've lost my freaking desk pan. And it's sitting around on it's something. Oh. Hey, Kirk. So I'm using this flyer. C23, Chicklets, Kirk. Wouldn't it be cool if, um, what's his name came in now? Um, you know, back from a few years ago, Candy and him, the shrimp guy, Jesus. Dan Slee. Oh, I miss Dan. I haven't seen him for quite a long time. I know. I may ask him about coming on. Screen. I miss a lot of the old timers. I mean, it's like um, he's not old, but you know the people that used to yeah used to frequent our streams and stuff. Most of them are gone, and um, and a younger younger crowd has kind of taken over a lot of the fish fam. Well, a newer a crowd. crowd that does but, a lot know. of talking about people behind their backs and stuff like that. So. Well, really a newer crowd. A newer crowd. But you know, when we all came along three or four years ago, or whenever, they know, said this. Crazy. They said the same thing about us, except that we didn't talk behind people's back. So, it changes every two or three or four yeah, years, apparently. It changes. And it, half, it changes, half of all and, these, and there's there's still a lot of good people in the fish fam. It's oh just, yeah. Uh, um, the general feeling of the fish fam has changed for the worse, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, with well, a lot of a lot of pettiness going on, but you know it's people, so it's going to happen. But it, I'm hoping that eventually it'll all like kind of blow over back to the type of people that we used to have. Well, fortunately, it's just a small splinter group, you know. Yeah, but they're kind of like, they're noisy. They're a small splinter group, but they, yeah, they make a lot of right. noise. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Hey, Noah. Who's Noah? Noah Gray. I don't know. I was just going to say I've never seen Noah Gray before. I don't either. That's a cool fish name, though. If it is a fish name. So I think I'm going to go to Noah Gray's channel and put it up so everybody can um, subscribe. Um, subscribe if they want to, since they seem to be new. So yeah, Bunny, I agree. Oh, they don't have any content. That's too bad. But I'll Bunny still said we still have yeah. have good people, way more than bad. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. That's, and that's, that's what we need to remember. These people will splinter off and then splinter off and fight among themselves. They're already doing that and you yeah. know, disagree. And, you know, there's there's only like three that are the core group and then like a sub three. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. It happens all the time. When all kinds yeah, of groups. It's just, it's just people. I mean, it's going to happen. Yeah. This is Noah Gray's. YouTube channel, although they don't have any content, but I still threw them as a sub. Patty, look at Pam. All sexy. Tonight. I'm all sexy every night. <laughs> is she? I didn't see anything. Lord, have you got a breast out on the table, Pam? Um, no. Move, move your punchy pants sign a minute. Why? I have a like shirt on. 
Oh, okay. It looks like things were laying on the. It's like a um, a sleeveless shirt, though, and I'm almost 67, so you don't want to see my arms. Well, Pam, you can see the eye of the beholder. Old skin can be sexy, you know. I had to tell you about the weather, Pam, going back to sleep lurking over here. Thanks, Mickey, I'm for stopping by. And have a good night. See you, Mick. I love the relaxed conversation. The fun talk. <laughs> Good for me. Yeah, I wasn't meaning to, like, complain about the fish fam or anything. It's just things are a lot different now. Different people, diff whole different feeling to the fish fam right now. It's not for me because I don't hang around negative people that are trying to hurt other people and cause harm. Yeah, that's, that's it. We never used to have, like, a group of people that were like that. But, like you say, it'll blow over and some of these, those people will leave and yeah. good people will come in. and All right. And it will, it will end because what it, it all boils down to is we are adults. We aren't high school kids. So, you know, eventually right. the ones acting like high school kids will either, either grow up or decide that they have better things to do. I've been trying all this time to think of somebody that's 67 or 70 that's sexy. Luke, yeah. hello. Oh, hey, my Luke. goodness. Luke is also from um, at um, King Frost Mares. Hi, Holly. Hey, Holly. I'm sitting, I'm sitting I haven't seen you for a while. No. Is it because I'm just kind of waiting. Mm, this is usually an art stream, but we don't really have anybody in here yet. But probably Grasshopper. It's always you, Grasshopper. Yeah, it's all your fault, Grasshopper. I have been scrubbing algae in tanks for like... We are adults. Hours. I had to check the stream to see if I was in the wrong place. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm an adult. I'm about to turn 67. <laughs> Another about two weeks or less. Yeah. A week yep. and a half. What do you want for your birthday, Pam? Twelve days. Twelve days and I'm going to be 67. You'll be just as honored as you were when you're 66, I'm sure. Probably, yeah, yeah. But I think it's on a Thursday, so on my Wednesday night stream, Wednesday night into Thursday will be a, a birthday stream on the 22nd. I know, Bunny. She was saying that before we went live, and I said, every time you say that, we end up with like four people on the panel and go over time. And Pam, you worried about the wrong thing. <laughs> I had to let it I'm seeing some people in here that I haven't seen before or that I haven't seen for a while, though, so that's awesome. Yeah, it is. Pretty awesome. Uh oh, Patty said something I missed, and you don't want to miss anything Patty says. You're smart. Very fancy. Regal. I know they're talking about you, Pam. No. <laughs> Those being glasses. You know? Oh, Bob. Yeah. I see you guys are, are letting people know, so tell us about. The new streams that we have coming up. Well, why don't you get Mike to come up? Because it was yeah, because his... they're going to be actually on Mike's channel. So, Mike, why don't you come up real quick and tell us about our new thing that we got going on? And he's made oh, all the promotions. I'm sharing them. They're out on my community tab. The two little promotions he made, and I'm sharing the hashtag. And he had the original concept and true to form. I followed him and came to him. Yeah. And said, what do you think about this? And he said, I'm wearing oh, So, Mike, come up real quick. You don't have to, if you aren't like dressed or anything, you don't have to turn your camera on. You can just have your. Is your there fish in the tank? Tell us about the new streams that we got coming up. Is there fish in the tank? Yeah. A lot of fish, big fish. Maybe too much glare on it. 
Bob, my hair looks Oh, wait, nice. that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do the StreamYard thing. That I think I posted um, somebody's channel again. Hang on. Gotta you can revel in it, Bunny. There you go. It's caused when I... I'm old, you know, I get I get mixed up easily. When I got out of the shower, I did like that, and then like that, and went with the spray thing. You know what? You know what I mean? Hairspray thing. Okay, Bob, nice. I'll wait to show you what's in there, but I'm too lazy, that's for damn sure. I do have to feed them in a little bit, though. I started to say I've been cleaning algae off of tank in front in the fronts of them and I got all of them in my bedroom done and then I started in the kitchen and I thought oh hell this is uh -uh. this is too much so this one I didn't do or any in here he's got big fishies in that tank that's like a hundred and eighty gallon tank it's a hundred and eighty yeah yeah that's what I thought it is and it's got two paku that are have outgrown it now. I keep have been saying they're about to outgrow it, but they've outgrown it. They're not comfortable in there. There's room to swim. It's four feet by two feet by two feet, or something like that. Let's see see the, white, the white, big white fish in there. They are about what, about 18 inches long? It's six feet. Yeah. They're no, they're not that big. They're like 13 and 14 now, but they oh, will be in nice. a few months. They're no, they're not. They're not that big. They're not 13. But they will be in the Uh-oh, you need to turn off the sound mic. Oh, y'all are make me want a cig or a joint or something. We got blue drinks from the local fish club today. I love anything blue. I love blue shrimp. Hey, what Bob. about... I can't say that, can I? <clears throat> can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So okay. you can tell us about the upcoming the streams that are starting on the first in the first week of July. What night they're going to be and all that stuff. All right. Well, I wasn't really prepared. Sorry. <clears throat> but didn't think we were going to let all the information out yet. I just been dropping some hints. Just leave the hints then. And uh, that's cool. So, but yeah, we're uh, going to be starting a live stream weekly Friday nights at 8 Eastern. And I think that's what we decided. And um, it's going to be focusing on reptiles for beginners. It'll be Pam, Bob, Susie Q Aquatics, and myself. Uh, we've already got some guests lined up. Yeah, it's an awesome guess. So, from the feedback that I have gotten so far from the two little shorts and leaving the hashtag and all the chats I go in, uh, I really believe we're on to something. Oh, yeah. For sure. So. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of people that keep fish and reptiles. Plus, we're going to be getting in some people that just keep reptiles and um, that type of stuff. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think it's going to be. So, and the hosts are going to be the three that are up here right now, plus Susie Q. And we're going to try to have a guest every week to talk to us. So far, every guest we've asked is awesome, and they've all said yes. So. Oh, yeah. They're all they were, uh, 
almost instantaneous to say yes, they want to be so. Yeah, there's kind of a gap there for this, so we're going to fill it. Yeah. So I invite everybody. Uh, not exactly sure what week in July we will start, but it'd be pretty early July. Like I said, Friday nights at 8 Eastern. So I hope everybody can make it. Patty, Ed, let Pam know he's running late, driving back from Knoxville, but he's coming. Oh, there you go. But yeah, I'm excited and it should be a good time. I'm excited about it because I haven't, um, just like still with the fish fam, that's why I started doing live streams and stuff and got involved was because, trust me, the older you get, the more things change. So you don't ever know anything. It changes from season to season. And so Oh my God, yes. Come. Things have changed so much. Things have yeah. changed so much. And old things come back. They turn out they were better after all. But um, anyway, yep. I'm excited about the reptiles. I've only kept reptiles uh, just about three years because I had my blue tongue skin about a year, maybe not that long before Nathan passed. And uh, some of you know Nathan. He, he passed two years ago this week. And um, I have his snake. Sandy is, was a little snake. And Sandy's huge. He was out today while I was cleaning in there. Oh, my God, he's huge for me. I never thought I'd have a snake that big in my house. He's sweet though. So that's what really got me into him, my first snake. So I'm a newbie, just really two years. Yeah. But I went, I went crazy. <laughs> it's like multi-tank uh, syndrome for reptiles. Yeah, it's like me. I can't uh, just take it nice and easy. When I get into something, it's full bore ahead. Yeah, yeah. I don't have as much experience as you guys, but when my kids were growing up, especially Tucker always had, like, all different kinds of lizards. All different kinds of lizards. Mm -hmm. And I've had a couple of turtles for um, about 15 years now. I got them when they were just hatchlings, and now they're pretty good sized. Hi, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Welcome. Um, no, um, Grasshopper, I saw the snake today, actually, and I didn't realize what I was looking at, but by the time I realized that was the snake, it had moved. Oh, so dang it. It's fine. It's out and about. It's not as scared, I guess, now, or I just happened to catch it moving. So, And it's still in this end of the house. I saw it back in that other bedroom where I keep the rainbow fish, so. I don't know which way it went though, so I'm still at square Bob one. just has a, a big snake running around his house. Oh, and confession, you know, I said, I showed you all that picture or that video of the, what I thought was him underneath that dresser, the bureau thing in here. When I really blew that up and looked at it, it really didn't look like him blown up. And then I looked over and I remembered I had knocked a pen, a ballpoint pen out. I said, <laughs> it was that pen. It was not him, so he was not under there. But I did see him today. So we'll see. It's awful when you get old and can't see, right, Pam? So you could have got a net to catch a pin. To what? I said, I would have liked to send you down on your hands and knees with a net to catch that pin. Right? Well, it, <laughs> it popped out of there, but I kept feeling, I don't know what I was feeling, but I was saying it kept going over the stick. So I don't know what I was feeling unless he was under there and I didn't see him, but he, that was not him in the picture. And I'm sure though he was wedged under the back of it because that was real clear. That wasn't no pen, it was long. But anyway, hopefully I'll find him. He just ate, so he's not hungry. Well, he ate Wednesday, so he's good to go. But yeah, I'm excited about it. And Susie Q has all kinds of reptiles. Her and Mike have been into it a long time. So I'm like you, Pam. I don't have that much experience. 
I haven't really been. Yeah, I've kept some, like a Knolls and green iguana when I was a kid, but I've actually only been keeping like snakes and stuff since early last year. But really, so I've got more snake experience than you might. A little bit. That's scary. That's scary. I think the difference is is that you're more into the uh, morphs and the genetics and all yeah. that. And I haven't quite got to that, but with this new cinnamon little snake, I, it's getting me interested. And I've started watching some of the egg, taking the eggs clutches out and stuff, and some of the egg cuttings and stuff. So I really would like to breed that cinnamon. But yeah, it'll be fun. And we won't, we, we, we talked about this like from the very first, uh, we've had a couple of like meetings, and, you know, to talk about it and, um, Chris Dreams, hello, you want to come up? Yeah, come on up and drop something, talk to us. Bob yep, has been for, playing um, with this snake for 60 plus years. Hmm. I've been keeping fish for 60 years this November. No, Christmas, not November, Christmas. But I have not tonight, okay. Night. Well, you know, it's a standing invitation, so. But yeah, I'm excited about it. Oh, we were, I was saying, we were talking about we didn't want to, you know, and when was a good time to go, because we wanted to make sure we would have people, you know, come, and also that we didn't, you know, stream over anybody. And uh, actually, whenever we go, doesn't matter unless there's a reptile yeah. channel that's concerned, and um, we'll find out quick enough. So, but no one I'm subscribed to, and I am to a lot of the reptile channels. Um, New goes local live. Austin says I had a trouser snake for as long as I can remember. <laughs> well. Which brought to mind that if if Bob lost his trouser snake, it would be a simple fix. I'd just tell him to check and see if his pants were on backwards. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah. <laughs> and that, that happens more often than I'd like to admit. Like <laughs> once a month, and I'll, I'll reach down for my pockets. I'm like, where the hell are my pockets? <laughs> yep. Get in a hurry. You know, got to go. Big Tank Hank, hello. Hey, hey you Hank. Snake. Hank, you're out, you're out loose in my yeah. house. That snake I named after you is loose, and I can't. I saw him today, but I haven't been able to catch him. Quit barking at the kitties. Don't do that. He wasn't sneaky till I named him Hank. He stayed right in his thing, his habitat. Yeah, he's fine. He's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bob. Bob has a free, free range snake roaming around the house. Hey, quit barking at the cats. I haven't seen a mouse, but I think Tibby had already cleared those out of here. I haven't seen any. It kind of concerns me that if a mouse can get in, he might find that and get out. <laughs> Nothing obvious. It's under a snake or something like that. It's a house snake. It's Actually. an African house snake. They're yes. dark, dark brown. <laughs> Some, sometimes they're black. It's dark, dark brown. It's that real shiny, rainbow looking one. It squeezes real tight. He's all right. The cats are scared to death of any snake that's out, so they're not going to mess with it. Star. I don't know where Yazzie's at. He must be asleep. Yeah, it's like my cats, when the snakes are in the cage, you know, of course, they're all big and tough. And when Dusty got out, they were like two year olds. Yeah. Get him, get him. They really are. If they, you know, they did that, 
whatever cucumber thing, lay it down by the snake and they would jump. Yep, yep. So I know they're afraid. Now, Tibby's friends with Sandy, but I don't see him sitting there in the chair by him like I used to. They used to sit and look at each other. They go where it's warm. Yes, but the problem is, is, is everybody's got warm weather right now, so I don't well, know how warm Bob's house is, but my house is plenty warm right now. Well, maybe she means like appliances. I don't know. I might have misread that. Yeah, that's what I'm concerned about is that it'll go in the go into the kitchen. And I have actually looked behind the refrigerator the day after looking, and that thing is no easy chore to move. I should have just left it out. Duh. You turn up. Yeah, I did that. I did that. I actually thought of that. I was doing the heavy look, and I got down and looked all around the floor. Then I went back and looked under everything with the phone and thought a pen was him. And then uh, um, when it wasn't, I looked in the chairs. I don't have a couch. I might pay them and get rid of my couch. Yep. I have a, a big tub that my turtles are in instead of a couch. <laughs> I've got two uh, what, what, little wingback chairs over there by the fireplace and then my desk chairs. Yeah, the appliances or warm animal. Yeah, he'll turn up. I expect Yazi will bark if he sees him. Yeah, you would think so. But <clears throat> I do have love him. If drop back down, I'll still be in chat. All right, Mike, thanks. But, sorry, uh, to, sorry to put you on yeah, the spot. Yeah, thanks for coming up and let us know what's going on, Mike. But hope everybody can check us out, and it uh, should be a great time. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Take care. Thanks, Mike. Ah, oh, Pam, you can't keep a secret. I know, huh? You want well, you Pam... guys were talking about it. What did we say? We've got a secret and we're not telling you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was posting it and I was too, so it's only two weeks away, so... Isn't it? Yeah, something like that. I think we were just wanting to make sure we had guests scheduled, and that went much better than we thought it would. So that was one concern. We didn't want to announce something and not have a guest. But all four of us have some form of reptile or herb or something that we can fill in. So, And we'll probably do that sometime. Somebody asked me if I was getting out of fish, and that's how when, you know things get told like five times. I'm not getting out of fish, but as I empty a tank, which is rare, I've always got something in mind to put in it that's uh, a reptile. So I think that's how. And I was saying I was down to 77 from 80, so that probably probably promoted that appearance. Yes, great guests coming. We were all tasked or volunteered to ask different people, and the ones we each asked said, yep, yep, some, and some right there in the meeting, most of them, while we were still having our little meeting. Could check around aquarium lights. And yeah, I did that up here. Fish stream's real good on this table because these tanks are all close together. There's uh, and the tanks are warm, and then I have some lights that are warm for the plants. So I did do that. I thought that's, I started in the immediate vicinity, because uh, you know, snakes will get on a rack and you won't even know they're there. Yeah, and he'll, he's gonna be getting his water from somewhere, so. Right. They're not, uh, they're not supposed to be like aquatic snakes, but Mike and I both noticed, Mike has, you know, the, the same one from the same bin that mine came out of, uh, or the same place, the same Repticon thing. And we both noticed that they like to soak in the water. And so they do like some water. I may come in here and find him in the tank. That'd be too bad, so sad if he gets in that Paco tank back there. Oh. 
Sandy's out. I'm trying to decide if I want to risk getting him out and being bit or not. Yeah. And they hear a water splash. Um, that I know. I don't know if every snake can hear that, but every time I pour water, um, I don't wash my bowls every day, but if they get something in them, I do. But if it's just normal use, um, I'll fill them two or three times, but I wash them at least once a week, whether they need it or not. But they hear the water going in there, especially the uh, corn snakes. They'll run over there, and it'll be half full to start with, but they'll run over there. Yeah, like I say, I'm sure he's getting water out of one of the tanks. Yeah, and he can climb up chair legs and all that, and he's super, super strong. I don't have that many snakes, but he's by far the strongest. By far, just for the fun of it. He can squeeze. Did you check your... What? If that's some kind of sex toy, I'm not going to be happy with you, Grasshopper. Did I check my Sibian? No, he made me say it. What is that? Do you know, Pam? I don't know. Whatever it I'm is. I'm old, you know. He got I don't hurt know his... all these newfangled words. I might need one, whatever it is. No, I don't know what that is, unless it's a name for something else. This, you check your... Discreet toy, so I don't think we want to know what it is. Straddle style pleasure machine. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew it was something no good just because of the rest. <laughs> nope. I've got too much tank maintenance to be riding the... I mean, <laughs> yeah, to be doing that. To be riding... I wonder if it's like a rocky horse or something. No, I don't need one. So now, why are our African house snakes fond of them? Let's see. Now, how does Grasshopper know about this? This. I wasn't wasn't going to state the obvious, but. <laughs> So there's little Sandy that was Nathan's snake. You know, he was like the size of my thumb and maybe a foot long, 10 inches a foot. I'm guessing you can see him. Hey, Bubby. What you doing? Huh? You drank all your water. Wow. He was out of water this morning. I feel that it's gone. Grasshopper says, no one look at my inter internet search history. Right. I, I don't want to look at it. I'm already clutching my pearls. Right. Are y'all able to see this snake or am I holding it for nothing? need to go a little bit lower. He's kind of down behind your name. There he is. Oh my gosh, he's getting so big. He's a little bit longer than this 40 breeder. Oh my goodness, he's getting so big. I remember when he was little. He wants to give you a kiss, Pam. Chunky monkey. I'd like to take him out and hold him, but I'm embarrassed I'll get bit. He wouldn't eat his food Wednesday. So, yeah, you said he was on a hunger strike along with one of the other ones. Reggie. Oh, look at this baby. See how sweet she is. I put her new heating pad in there because hers wasn't working. She's catching up. She's right on it. She's so sweet. She's the sweetest snake I've got, for sure. 
Sorry, showing snakes on a fish channel. I think that's, that's all right. Now it's against the code. Supposed to be an art channel tonight, but nobody showed up yet. I could do some art, but I don't know. You might get demonetized. And speaking of getting big, look at the size of that chameleon. Yeah, let's do another drink. And if he wants, he can have some a treat of super worms. I was trying to find out what would be the best housekeeper. Uh, actually, Wally with uh, oh, something gecko. I forget his channel name. I can't remember my own. You can go to look at him getting his tongue ready to lamp it up. Here's a cricket back there. You better get that cricket, boy. It's full of it is belly. Um, looking for something to put in here, like bioactive. Hey, baby. And there are things that will live in there that are cleanup crew. Um, there are even um, those little pod things, the roly polies. Yeah. The, the best thing that I found is the super worm beetles. Need to get a snake hook. But that's what I want for uh, my birthday, Mike. I can't afford one. They're expensive. Oops, I don't want to be by myself. Oh, did you have me blown up? Yeah, I did. Oh, let me show you. He came over here. Now he stopped. He came over behind me and was flicking water off the screen where it went through. Back now. Yep, I sent Skipper some of these guys. I hope they're doing okay. They're very hardy. He always commented on them, so I finally figured out that man he wouldn't mind having some. That reminds me, shameless plug, shameless plug, you know our guest on the Fish Mafia stream Sunday, tomorrow, I never know the day, is my cow, the fish tank barn. Yep, that's going to be fun. It's going to be incredible. Um, Mike is an awesome fish keeper and breeder, and he knows his stuff, and he's an OG too, we're talking about OGs. Um, yeah. He... Um, did a video just recently, like two days ago, and just watching that video, it's on rare platies. He has a section of just rare platies in his fish barn. He's got, I don't know how many tanks, but uh, those rare platies were just gorgeous, some of them. And I confirmed with him yesterday or today that he'll be here for sure. And sent out the thumbnail. I haven't posted it to the notification site yet, but so I'm really excited about that. I can tell you some more. You want to know some more of them? TM Aquatics uh, that was on a couple weeks ago. That was awesome, awesome. He'll be back next week. And then uh, Michael Wentworth will be on in two weeks. And then Mitchell Broom, the third. Well, he hadn't confirmed that, but that's when I want him to if he can. So we've got a great lineup for several weeks. We do. Need to get a snake hook. Bob makes it. Oh, that's Mike. I thought that was grasshopper with another smart remark. Yeah, I need to get one. I saw one somewhere and started to get it and I've never used one. OG stands for old guy. Right. It stands for original group, original gangster.
GOAT stands for something like that, greatest of all time. Get off my lawn, right? I just realized I forgot to eat after I took a shower. What does my hair look like anyway? Bunny said she liked my hair. Probably looks horrible. Didn't comb it. Pam, for what you're paying me, I'm not combing my hair. Not dressing from the waist down. <laughs> So what should I do for my birthday stream? Should I have a lot of giveaways? I could get start getting ready to do that. That'd be kind of fun. Um, why would you give giveaways on your birthday? Shouldn't it be people That's giving? what I did last year. I gave away a whole bunch of giveaways on my birthday stream. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't remember that or didn't appreciate it, as you were saying last week. But, knowing you, you'll probably do that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that would be cool. I'd like some light refreshments myself. A birthday cake? I'm very damper. I think last year I had birthday balloons that said, happy fucking whatever. Yep, I'm pretty sure I did. I think that was last year. <laughs> I've got a brown recluse spider, a female that lives on the hang-on back, between the hang-on bag and the air, air uh, hose and the uh, light on this 30, I mean 20 long. And she's out and about floating on the duckweed, getting her some water now. People do host channels on a spider, you know it? I might make sure to do a positive ID on her and see. No reason I can't show her now. Latin class or something, right? Let me turn this around. I, I um, don't like spiders. Let me turn this around. It's a fan. Hmm? Where the hell did she go now? I said that and she disappeared. Maybe one of the fish ate her. Nope. There she comes. See her going down. She's right in the middle. She's shaking. There she goes up. I can't see her. She's right under the light. She's white going across. Oh, yeah, I, I see it. I see it now, yeah. She's tiny, tiny. She might be trying to catch her a baby platy. There's a bunch of them in there, up in that stuff. She stays there. As long as she's there, she's safe. It's a little... Hang on back, it's like a tetra, uh, aqua something, or a, yeah, it's a little bitty one. Where the hell did she go? Hey, George. Hey, you, George. Hey, George used to keep spiders, tarantulas. You can come up, George, if you want to. We don't really have any art going on right now. We're just talking. Guess that's all she needed. I think that there she is back. There she comes back. Oh, she might be working on her web. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I did raise the water like two inches. Yeah, she's spinning her web back a bit. Attaching it to the duckweed or the water tension. That's weird. I didn't know they could do that. I don't 
don't want any baby. What kind of spider is that, George? Oh, you're at Knott's Berry Farm? That's fun. I guess. I've been there before. Oh God, I hope this don't get me interested in keeping spiders. I don't need spiders. Still here, somewhere. There. What are you I'm doing? Getting a little, I'm getting a little concerned about Ed because. One way he comes back would be real curvy and there's water and well, I guess Marie's doing okay. I was gonna ask about her. That's great. Who's oh Snoopy at Knott's Berry Farm? I've never been there. Already am keeping spiders. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple over in the window where the most of the plants are back there. So you didn't lie, Matt. You did not lie. Mm -hmm. Well, I would draw something, Pam, but you'd probably get shut down. demonetized. Sandy's still out over there. He's either wanting to eat or wanting me to hold him. With him not eating. Day, so I'm a little oh, there's Ed. Oh, good. I'm just getting worried hey, about Ed. you, Ed. Hey, guys. Oh, I had fun. Awesome. I loved, I loved going to those meetings because then I get to go to Sean's house and play games. Right. <laughs> it, he had a really cool new game. It's, it's so stupid. It's a two-player game, but you try to collect crystals in the, in the throat of a space monster and you got to get out without getting all the bacteria on you and if you don't get out before he shuts his mouth then you have to go be pooped out and if you got to get pooped out you get a lot of bacteria on you uh, <laughs> i took a picture of the game let me see what it is dude, so how do you win you you just got to get oh what do i do with my glass oh there they are uh, you got to get out of the mouth with all the crystals in time. It's like you're mining crystals. Oh. It kind of remind me of in Star Wars when they got into that great big monster in the first movie ever. Yeah. But it's called So You've Been know. Eaten. So You've Been Eaten. Huh. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. So... It was pretty fun, but so tonight I'm going to be painting. It got me in the mood for painting aliens. Oh, absolutely cool. awesome! Cool. And I'm going to use some new type of paints I've never used before. Uh, the YouTube family sent these to me when I was down and out. 
Oh, I remember seeing those. Yeah. And they sent me these too. But the problem was, is my arms were so sore. I couldn't do anything. You know, I was like just th doing this the whole time. But now my arms feel good enough. So I'm going to paint. Awesome. There's a name for that, Ed. Um, cultural name what's the little dinosaur that has a little bitty arms it's so terrible oh, t-rex yeah the t-rex Rex, arms yeah. oh man i was so sore this is all i wanted to do because i was so sore can't imagine cannot imagine it Oof. there we go That's and sean well. bought me mexican food tonight too Oh, oh nice. he, he did have a nice Bukowski, hello. Yeah, and he paid for it. Actually, that's his wife paid for it. <laughs> he oh, like that's, that's the most delicious Mexican food. <laughs> yeah, he right. left her inside to pay, and we just walked out. I felt bad for it, but uh, it was like authentic. So I ordered the burrito supreme, and it was three little burritos. They were like enchiladas instead of burritos. Now, does, does Kerrigan hang out at those uh, club meetings, too? Does she go? You know, I've never even actually met her. You hadn't? I thought no. you had when she worked at uh, Aquarium Knoxville. I thought I pointed her. Well, maybe you didn't oh. meet her. Yeah. Well, I probably met her then or right. seen her, but that was before I knew Sean. Right. Me, too. <laughs> so, hey, I got it. I, I got a new desk map you guys want to see. Ooh. It doesn't put out a lot of light, though. A what? A new desk lamp. I thought I could and see I it. I ordered it, and it's not what I thought it was going to be. It's a clip-on light, but it um, you hook it up to the computer and charge it, and then when you unplug it from the computer, it goes it keeps going for quite a long time. Oh, that's but awesome. it doesn't put out a ton of light. But see, it's got the uh, the clip on it, and then it's got like a little LED light bar. But it's enough to draw from, so that's cool. And like I say, and, and I don't have to worry about having wires running all over the place because it hooks up to the computer right there. But when it's charged, I can just unplug it from the computer and it stays. Wow, on. that's nice. So that's kind of cool. It is. And I can clip it right over the top of my drawing. Like I said, it doesn't put out a super strong light, but I can like have it right o directly over the top. Just clip it onto my there desk you know. and have it right over the top of the drawing. So it works. I've seen versions of those like with a base uh, for beta bulbs. For beta oh, tools. yeah. Yeah, I've got, I actually had a couple little lights from beta bulbs and I, um, tried them but they were too blue and not bright enough but this one here has got a pretty white light and like i said yeah. then i can bend it right down over the, directly over the top of the drawing while i'm working on it because and i can like say i plug it into the computer and let it charge and then i can unplug it and it will last for about half the day before i have to plug it back in again but it plugs right into a usb port so that works yeah. awesome my dad just gave me this crappy one that he was going to throw away. And because I've been thinking, I need more light when I paint in here. And I'm glad you just brought that up. But I mean, yeah. this one uses the old fashioned light bulb. Yeah. That's why oh, he yeah. was going to throw it away. Because. Oh, no, those are great whatever. for drawing. Yeah. Well, it looks like he used cardboard on the bottom of it to fix it. But hey, man. Works. Especially for free. Yeah. Free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. I'm glad you said something because I forgot all about this thing. So what color I was thinking I would either go purple or blue for these aliens. Purple. Let purple. me see the let me see the aliens. I'll, I'll pull up a couple of them. This you is know, like, you could you could do like a blue vase and then just lightly, like put the purple over the top and wipe it back. Yeah, or like dry brush it. Well, yeah, yeah, these, that would be pretty cool. 
these are called speed point paints they bought me and it's a like sean was saying it's like totally cheating because you know normally i put like four or five colors of, of paints on each one but what yeah. happens as you can see what they're really running and uh you paint your model white and it, it goes into the crevices real dark and stays real light at the edges so it like does everything at one one shot ah mm -hmm. so you get all your shading and stuff and shadows in there so mm -hmm. it's an experiment i've never used this stuff before he says it's pretty expensive it's like seven dollars and fifty cents a bottle if you buy oh. one at a time and i mean look at that's not a very big bottle I wonder why, like, I got a little paint touch-up. Ed, you know how I hit things all the time with my truck. Um, yeah. <laughs> on, on the passenger side only. Yeah. It's too big, Pam, that I have to have a big truck. Anyway, I got went by and got a jar of something, and they let me have it for 25 or 20 He said it was normally 30 to touch up some places, and I did. Well, I showed you that I did, I think. wonder what the difference is. Just the markup, or... It's crazy. I haven't been with Nico all day, and so now he just wants to keep mugging me. Oh, bless him. He's been attention deprived. Yeah. Poor baby. I'm not sure what kind of paint they use on cars, but it's not the same as acrylic paint. Maybe it's the type of paint then. Yeah. Because I know um, my brother in law many, many, many years ago wanted me to paint on the side of his semi truck like his name and stuff company name and stuff and i had no idea what i was doing and they said well try acrylic paint so i tried acrylic paints and after about it's six beautiful. months it started chipping off along with great big tr chunks of the car paint so obviously that acrylic paint doesn't work on trucks <laughs> Pam, you should you should screenshot that pam when he looks back did you see his eyes do he looks right at himself yeah nico look, look at that oh my gosh he looks a lot you said that i think ed the um oh look those eyes very lady, ladybug over at the ark she looks so much like him yeah. same neck white <coughs> Somebody must have heard us. <coughs> There's Yazzie. We're an hour into this, Yazzie. Where have you been? You heard the cat, too. That's yeah. Ed's cat. You know Ed's your friend, Uh-oh. What are you doing? Did you get the cat? Oh. Get over here. Get away from the kitty. I bought this because I didn't want to fall asleep on the way home from Knoxville. <coughs> and it's one of these new Dunkin' Donuts drinks and it, it is the worst thing i've ever bought yeah. oh no <laughs> they said looks, go ahead it looks pinkish <laughs> yeah <laughs> well it's strawberry coconut but it tastes just like uh uh like if you were putting suntan lotion all over your body and you got a whole bunch of it in your mouth Oh, great. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Coconut yeah. perfume. Oh. Hi, Chris George. To me, that's why I don't like personally like like um, hazelnut flavored stuff because to me it tastes like you're eating perfume. I don't know if I'm going to be able to paint until he moves. Yeah. He's Because anything, like if I pick up the paintbrush and stuff, he's going to whack at it. He needs your attention now. I was about to try to get Tibby to come in here since he was up there, but somebody pulled that. Yazi, did you come in to say hello or to sleep? There's Pam. There's a cat. Hey, Yazi. He's looking hey, right at Ed and Nico. Yep. This cat is unbelievable. Sure my power is connected yeah for some oh it isn't it said that my battery is almost dead i didn't have it plugged into the the side of the computer good enough there oh, we go your phones 
No, the, the power cord to the wall. Oh. So can you get on the floor or go out and look out the window or something? Ed, I'm wanting to go to a Repticon real bad. I don't have anything in mind. When is it? Oh, I haven't got, got a date on one. It'll be when I get paid next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just let me know. I get paid the last Wednesday of the month, my whatever, disability, Medicare, whatever. He was trying to knock my coconut stuff, or pineapple coconut, onto the floor just now. He walked over there and started pushing it. He breaks all my mice. I I have to buy a new one of these every couple months. That's why I just uh, buy cheap ones because he knocks yeah. them on the floor all the time. I used to wear a wrist rod watch when I first moved here over 20 years ago, and I would always come home from work. You know, nurses have to have a watch with the second hand, or they're supposed to anyway. And I would come home and lay my watch on the dresser. I did that all my life, and I had a cat that would knock it off and break it. Not every time would it break, but she must have broke three or four. Her name was Becca. Beck, Beck. Hey, Ed, do you want to join us on my birthday stream? I think I'm going to do like, I think I'm going to do a birthday celebration with a bunch of little card giveaways and stuff. Sure. What what day? It's going to be um, my my birthday's the 23rd, which is Thursday, but it's going to be the Wednesday night stream on the 22nd. Okay, you just have to remind me. Okay. Because it's just going to be like a fun night. I think I'm going to get a bunch of little cards ready for a giveaway and and just have fun because, you know, I'm going to be 67 years old. So I guess that's cause for celebration. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, I think I'm going to do – I've been sitting here thinking about it, and I think I'm going to do like a big giveaway stream and just have fun that night. And What's I think I'll get it set up tomorrow to get us thumbnail done and stuff and to start like advertising it early but if you wanted to come up with us that would be fun oh you bet that'd be super cool yazi look at my calendar what day did you say it is pam on the 22nd that's a wednesday yep and okay. actually the next day is my birthday but the stream can like trail over into my birthday too so now, Chris said, uh, I heard you didn't like to drink. I love to drink stuff. I Almost every time I go to a restaurant, I go sweet tea. Or, yeah, I normally always go sweet tea. Don't I, Bob? Yeah, always. You know, his favorite thing is to drink and have um, peach-flavored donuts at the same time. <laughs> Ew. And this is Dunkin' Donuts. I love... No, like I love pina colada flavor, so I was hoping this new thing would be a pina colada type drink from Dunkin' Donuts, and it was not. It's a large strawberry coconut refresh. I see the commercials, and they look so good. They're not. Did you have ice in that? Yeah, but I've been driving for, I got it like two hours ago. I wondered if it was diluted down, but it sounds like it's already diluted. Yeah, it's gross. I probably should have put some ice in it or something. Okay, now let's get back. Oh, Nico. I think he knocked, my, so he knocked my cane on the floor. Dee Dee, uh -oh. hello. I was Dee Dee. just wondering, I was going to ask about Dee Dee. Has anybody seen Dee Dee? Oh, who do we have on your show this week? Bob? Oh, on the the, the Fish Mafia? Yeah. It's I missed this last week. We're going to have Mike. Fish Tank Barn Mike. Oh, cool. Yeah, and he's got a video out, Ed. I'm, you probably had not seen it just two days ago or something it just his rare platies alone that video is amazing so but he's got a whole barn you know full of fish yeah i've got some of his fish in my fish room yeah he helped me so much with my uh not so much but he, I, I trusted what he would tell me about my uh, saltwater. they got ick and 
he was telling me how to treat it and it worked. So. Yeah, he's actually bred yep. uh, saltwater fish. Yep. Yep. He's an OG for sure. So that's who it is. And then we've got Tom TM Aquatics next week. Awesome. Then Michael Wentworth. And then Mitchell, no, Mitchell uh, Norton, Mitchell Burnback. But I haven't confirmed Mitchell, but that's the plan. Why wasn't I there last week? There was a reason. Oh, those neighbors or something? Oh, that's right. Because I was like, the last thing I had to cancel was on Lefty because my niece, we we got to meet or go out to eat with her fiance yep. yesterday on Friday. So that's all I could think of was my niece. But that's right. My neighbors moved back to Idaho. Kind of sad though, because I was just really starting to enjoy them. It stinks when you got good neighbors and you don't realize it until they're gone. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Mike made an announcement earlier. What's that? Uh, I'll let Pam tell you since she's. Uh... Hi, Jess. Well, starting in July, we're going to have a reptile chat on Fridays at 8 o'clock Eastern every week. And we'll have our hosts and then a guest every week. And we already got some fun guests lined up. But it's going to be a show for beginning reptile keepers or anybody who's interested in reptile keeping. And for our hosts, we have me and Bob and Mike and Susie Q are going to be hosting that every week. Good night, Daniel. Have a good one. See you, Daniel. Well, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Night, Daniel. Sorry for being a delayed person. Trash cat, hello. So this is a very liquidy stuff. Oh, liquidy. Yeah, liquidy. It's, yeah, it's, it's super thin. That's funny you said liquidy because I was just remembering when I always, every time I see Jess in the chat or or managed to get up to get over to her morning show. I uh, always remember her saying flowy. You know how you associate a song or a saying with something or somebody. I always think of flowy. She likes the flowy shirts. It would be. She is yep. one awesome girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And when I say girl, I mean woman. Young lady. Same. Yep, it's going to be Friday night at 8 o'clock Eastern, and it's going to be um, starting in July. That's awesome. Did you guys come up with a name yet? Um, reptiles. Dang it. <laughs> now, that's not what I wanted to name it nobody else liked but i thought it was a good name i wanted to name it geriatric park oh. <laughs> did did you tell them what i wanted to name it bob yeah <laughs> well yeah cold-blooded review or something yeah that would work too i kind of like that it's definitely a good name for a, a stream uh, you know an episode or something Well, this purple's really coming out purpley. I think uh, I think Ginger said because we had scales in it originally, and then we all decided we didn't want that. But Ginger said scales. Ginger Graves said scales and reptiles. 
but I, well, yeah, my, my, I, I like geriatric park because we're all old. All of us, all of us co-hosts are old people. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me too. Well, <laughs> I'm saying that because I'm not on this group. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense, but I don't know if I was 20, if I'd want to go there. I'm not. Oh but. yeah. Good point. Guys like, uh, Steve, oh, Steve might be like, I ain't hanging out with no right. geriatrics. Exactly. Or Levi. Right. <laughs> this brush is too thick or too big. Hey, Sandy. Well, you know, I'm going to be 67, so. So, geriatric fits for me. But I'm well, okay. I'm hoping that my super sunburns. Did you see how sunburned I was, Pam? I did see that. Look, oh, I mean, ouch. And they're going to have to shave over that on Friday. But I was looking it up, and they said normally a sun tan, a sunburn, even if it's like a third degree, if it hasn't blistered, the pain should be out of it within seven days. You know what you put on sunburns that will, like, make it go away real fast? What's that? Now, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I used to do this all the time when my kids were growing up. And you don't want to have nice sheets on your bed because it will get all over your sheets. But um, um, bag balm will get rid of a sunburn so fast. I don't know what bag balm is. Bag balm is basically like a medicated Vaseline. And it's actually, it's made for cattle, but um, I had a doctor tell me years ago that he used it on all of his kids for diaper rash and stuff. Oh. But it works for any anything on the skin, diaper rash or sunburn. That I found when sense. my kids were little, if they got really bad sunburn, if I put it on really fast before they, um, like at night when you start to blister, after you've been out in the sun all day, if I put it on their skin before they started to blister, they wouldn't blister. And it would go away pretty fast because it heals up the skin. What did you call it? <coughs> Bag bomb. But you can get it in any drugstore. It's like I say, it's, it says on the, on the can, it's a green can with a cow on it. And it says not for human use, but it actually is. Like I said, I had a doctor recommend it to me for any skin things when my kids were babies and it's like a it's like a old-fashioned um what do you call that remedy like a, like a, a homemade re or homegrown remedy remedy yeah but bag balm is great stuff like i say it's basically like a medicated vaseline and the drugstores all carry it now. What? Well, yeah, cool. he's getting after the chameleon. Usually he's just sitting there getting the, uh, going down to get a cricket or something. Yeah. Does he miss his girlfriend? He doesn't seem to. Uh, he seems to actually be glad she's gone. He doesn't seem to at all. Well, maybe fatherhood was stressing them out. Maybe, except or the prospect of being a father. Yeah. Um, I never, never burned, or very, very rarely, because I can sit out like three hours and I turn pretty dark. Um, it's real easy for me. So, but my sisters were all uh, red-haired or strawberry blonde and fair-skinned. And they would burn real easy because they'd want to stay out, you know, playing in the lake and stuff as long as I did. So they would burn. But my mother would have them sit in the tub and she would put um, vinegar soaked, um, like paper bags, the old fashioned grocery bags. Well, that's what yeah, vinegar, vinegar will help to take the sting out of a sunburn. Yeah. And she had pulled up the bag bomb that says for dry skin that can crack, split, or chafe. And it says in here um, that it was a soothing ointment originally de developed specifically for cow udders. 
But like I say, it's really, really good stuff. It's in this bright, bright green. What's and then on the it? top of it, it used to anyway, they have like a drawing of a cow, but I don't know if it still does. What's in it? I think it's basically like Vaseline that's got medication in it. What medicine? If it says here what it a legs fairy rescue balm from Vermont's rugged northeast kingdom. But like I said, it was originally developed for ingredients. There you go. Petroleum lands lan lanolin hydro something sulfate paraffin wax. That's what's in it, just those four ingredients. All the things in a thirty dollar little cream thing of Nivea or whatever that cream is. Same ingredients. But like I say, it was originally for cow udders, but it's really, really good stuff. When one of my kids, I think it was my first one, Jessica, when she was a little, she got diaper rash really bad. And the doctor told me, he says, now I can't tell you this because it's not recommended for human use. But he said, I have six kids. Go get some bag balm. And then later I found out that, um, Actually, the reason that my daughter was getting the diaper rash is because, and I don't know, if, I think this has changed too, but when um, Pampers first came out about the time that she was a baby, and back then they were heavily perfumed, and it was the perfume in the Pampers that was doing it, and I had to switch to like, um, once I switched to cloth diapers, it was like, it cleared itself up really fast, but the bag balm was really good stuff. God, I used to hang out. But all of my kids used to get rashes if I put Pampers on them because, like I say, they were so heavily perfumed that I think they don't do that anymore. I don't think they're quite as heavily perfumed as they used to be. But this was when they first started coming out with them. So, because I'm old, <laughs> Jessica, my young, my oldest is like um, 43, I think, right now. So, yeah, I'm getting old. 43. Whatever happened to DMS? Uh, I used to see signs all the time for that around here. Yeah, you can get bag balm at any farm store too, and a lot of the drug stores now carry it too. Although, like I said, it says right on the bottle it's not for human use, but don't even pay attention to that because it works really well for anything on your skin, any kind of rash or dryness or sunburn, anything like that. Bag balm is wonderful stuff. That's good to know it's got multiple species applications. Species are cool. Oh, my coffee's gone. Well, I found out that the blood thinner causes a uh, causes you more likely chance of getting sunburns. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah, it makes it says that it does something with UV light that it makes it so it's easier or it's harder to resist it or something. Yeah, I've I've heard of several medications that if you're on them, you got to be really careful of getting sunburns. I never dreamt there was something like that because normally I always go out and get, I like to get tan in the summer so I don't get sunburned on accident if I go out for a long period of time for something. What did you, you say about sideburns, Pam? Sunburns. Sunburns. Oh. oh, okay. I keep my sideburns shaved off, Bob. Right. Same. 
I shaved mine today. Ed, who else was at the, uh, I'm nosy, you know that, who else was at the club that I know, or might know, Sean? Sean was there. John? John was there. If you ever want to go up there with me, you can. It's just normally I stay afterwards for several hours hanging out yeah, with Sean. No, 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 no. I was teasing you when somebody, when I was it John that said, are you bringing Bob? I was teasing you the other day. I was like, he never texts me anywhere. He never asked me or whatever. I was just oh, teasing. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, you do. We go every, everywhere we want to go, right? Yeah. Um, that's. Well, uh, John was there and he brought his three daughters. So I met them. Oh, cool. And they look a lot like him. It's crazy. Yeah. But they're cute. I was late because I was on the phone with my brother. He was all depressed. Uh, you know, he's been quarantining for two yeah. months yeah. to not go to, or so he could go to Korea. Right. And uh, they did his test before he went on this flight today. And they said that he still had lingering case of COVID. You know, he had it three weeks ago, all from his wife's retarded friend that wanted us wanted them to meet her boyfriend right her boyfriend and he came sick right so stupid that but is stupid. Man, <laughs> it, it sounds like it might be for the best the doctor was telling tim it's for the best because if they would have found it him positive there they make you quarantine for a week in the hospital in a korean hospital and yeah. for a guy with a bad immune system you don't want to be in the hospital yeah in a foreign tropical place but it's still what about uh was kenny there um trying to think which kenny the only one i know in knoxville oh the fish one the fish owner fish pet store no uh hmm. marine aquatics yeah no he does he he's only been to one and that was when they had him talk the only one i know i think he's normally working uh I'm trying to think who else i know up there mitch that you know he's starting his channel yeah mitch norton uh he's normally there but he he got sick last night yeah I didn't get to meet him at Aquaticon, but uh, Susan, SLC Aquatics, had him on. He's kind of one of their main organizers for that club. Awesome. Just a super nice guy. Yeah, um, seems like he is. I wish I knew people's names better. Uh, but I, I don't think it... Not really... Uh -oh. oh, Nico wants me to throw a wire. He's got a uh, twist tie. Yeah. If you want me to throw it, you got to bring it here. Mama C had one last night, and I'm like, do you have the snake? It was in the Yeah, he's all interested in Nico. Look at the look on his face. He's like, oh, yeah. I hear that. Did you bring another cat in here? He's looking too. He's looking yeah, he's looking screen. really hard. He's, he's trying to find in the cat. It's green. <laughs> yeah, see, you can't, you can't dog Nico. Leave him alone. He's like down like this, with his tail flicking back and forth, staring at this twist tie. You know, red twist mm -hmm. tie. Yeah, but, ready to attack it. Yeah, but it, he Hi, wants Brandon. me to throw it, and I'm not going to throw it because it's. I have to get up to throw it. Need your attention, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> Just a coincidence that you're painting, you know. Yeah. 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 If I was like downstairs getting ready for bed, he'd be in the other room, not hanging out with me at all. That's how he rolls when I'm. When I'm accessible, he normally doesn't care. Poor, poor Nico. I can turn. Uh... Oh, he just walked away from me as soon as I get ready to turn the camera toilet. 
buffalo photo. Hello. Hey, Buff. He jumps on that every time I look away. Well, I don't know. It feels like I'm using an awful lot of paint for one model. Are you pouring that out on a palette or? Yeah, it's a, yeah. Oops. It's the, the second, that little one right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's really but, runny. So. But if you use a lot of it for one model, it doesn't make it worth the price. Yeah, I don't, I mean, they gave it to me. Yeah, but I don't but, know if I if you it uses a lot just to do one. I don't know if I'd spend that much money to get more of it. I just do it the old way. Yeah, I normally like I just buy my paints from Walmart. You know, I get my these are my paints I normally buy the cheapy ones. Yeah. Yep, I have some of those myself. Yep. But they work great for modeling because I can mix them and add water to them if they start to get dry. You know, and it, it's just I don't have to worry about anything. So, I mean, these are super fancy pants. I may have to, depending, I've got a whole bunch of these aliens I got to paint. I'm starting with the queen. That probably wasn't smart. What are those, uh, what are you going to use those for, Ed? What are they for? It's for a board game called, uh, nemesis it's really a fun game you're like in a space station it's kind of like uh the second aliens movie when they the the marines go down to the planet that the aliens like took over and they got to rescue the people oh cool and but this one is you're the people that the marines haven't got there yet and you have to do different things like turn off the power or turn on the power. You have to radio Earth to tell them what the aliens are doing or they might just nuke you so the it doesn't affect anything or get worse. And there's just all sorts of situations that can happen. Mike says his anoles are breeding. Mine did that too, fresh out of the box. Uh, not this time, but the other time. But I never saw any eggs. I don't know how long it takes to lay eggs. Did you get a chance, Ed, to, Ed, to look at the link I sent you, the Facebook link? Oh, what was that? It was, um, uh, I just remind, remembered because I saw the Ch our Chattanooga Club sticker here on this tank. Um, it was somebody in the club in Chattanooga selling a bunch of stuff. Somebody sent it to me, one of the volunteers at the ARCs. Uh, uncle or something sent it to me and I looked at it if there was anything I needed but they had a lot of that coral the simulated coral and stuff for oh that's what it was yes insane prices and other things too that it was a saltwater setup yeah my I've already bought pretty much everything I just now I just have to try to figure out how to set up the RO system mm. And then I'll, I'm going to, I'll be set. Oh, Nico, watch out. <laughs> Nico's going to have purple feet. <laughs> oh, Nico. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Nico. Nico. He can't hear us, can he? No. I got, up, I got up one morning and there was blue, blue, bright blue cat tracks across my desk. And then jumping down onto my chair and then jumping across, jumping down on the floor and walking across the floor. <laughs> what well, doesn't Bob have the awesome thing from Scrunch Princess? Oh, it's got a cat, cat print on it. I, yeah. think Bob, I think Bob has one. Yeah, was a cat yep. print one in the drawing? Yep. I do. I do. Grasshopper came from, um, um, he started calling me mom. 
and I started calling him Grasshopper, like in the old TV show. Yep. Kung Fu. Kung Fu, yep. Yep, that's where the name Grasshopper came from. He don't look like a grasshopper, you know it. He keeps me entertained in the comments on my videos. For sure. I shouldn't have said that with him listening, right? No, that's encouraging him. <laughs> oh, there you go. But he's annoying like a locust. Well, there is that. Hey, GRB. Good day, GRB. GRB, hi. How are you? Have you ever watched this uh, show? It's I think it might be called How Extreme or something like that. It's these three young Aussie guys. They're like in their 20s. And they throw things off of towers and break stuff. I've never watched that. Well, I enjoy watching them throw anvils off of high spots and drop them on cars. It's pretty cool. But one of the guys is named Harry. And he's the, the smallest one of the three. But he's grown a mustache, I think, to look more manly. So today I trolled him and said, I don't like your new guy with the mu or the new cool guy with the mustache. I prefer the dorky little guy. <laughs> we'll see if uh, they notice it. Oh, God, I remember when I had a TV, which was many years ago. I think on Cape Cod. But late at night, I mean, like really late and I'd be up drawing, and there used to be this show that would come on with, um, with, um, I think it was a Chinese show or a Japanese show with a, like, game set up where the, they try to get through, like, a... American Ninja. Yeah. Or maybe it's not American Ninja because it's in Japan. No. Whatever. Yeah, yeah well, it was like they had games set up, like, wheels turning and stuff that they had to get through all oh. the phase of different things yeah that was just crazy that was i would sit and watch that while i was drawing and laugh my ass off it was so funny and the comments the uh, the the guys would make that were watching was just uh, oh my god that show would crack me up but you know they probably wrote that stuff because it happened i think like 20 years prior to when we were watching it. I mean, maybe not. But. You know what show I'm talking about, though? I do. It was great. Yeah. And it was always on, like, super, super late at night. Well, I was hoping for a pink, but it doesn't look like I got a pink. I've got a flesh. I think I'm going to save the flesh. Because it might, this. let's see, I've got Fire Giant Orange or Blood Red. Hmm. I think Blood Red will go better with the, the purple. But yeah, that was a pretty good show. I wish I could remember what it was called. They got something in here to really mix it good. Yeah, it was like an extreme elimination challenge. Yeah, they had like like wheels that they'd have to run on and logs that they'd have to jump across. And it was pretty funny to watch. But they were like teams. So it was like there was like, I don't know if they were workforces, you know, or colleges, universities that would show up. Because it, there would be big groups that were all on the same team. Oh, yeah, yeah.
and it'd fall down into like big pools of water and stuff when they messed up. Yeah. They got one show out that's called Wipeout. And it's a show here in America, and I don't know how people don't get hurt doing it. A girl I graduated with, she's a CEO of some place in L.A., so she's done really well for herself. But uh, she was on the show a few years ago. I was like, oh, my gosh. Susie Waters made primetime TV. Of course, her name isn't Susie Waters anymore. She actually hired me to shoot her wedding. Oh, nice. She was a Mormon, and they did it at one of those giant cathedral places. Tabernacles. Yeah, and so I wasn't allowed to go in, but I stood outside on the stairs and was hoping I was at the right place. It's always that way when you don't get to see the bride and the groom before the wedding. You just pray you're in the right spot. Oh, my gosh. Bob sent a super sticker. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome. That, that Bob is all right. And it's got a green guy screaming on it. <laughs> it says incredible. Yeah. No stress show. If anybody's not sub to Mike, I put the link there. Yeah, we're going to be having the reptiles. Reptile show coming up in July on Mike's channel, and it's going to be awesome. I thought you told me to unsub from Mike because he keeps getting all your, your. Uh, oh, thank snake. you, Grasshopper. Because he's annoying. Oh, okay. Well, I like how the belly came out. Let's see. Ah, almost dropped her. Uh oh. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very cool. It is fast painting. I tell you what, I'm going to town painting. Oh, fish streams. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing under my foot? Nico started to attack my foot. I need to go on and give a thumbs up. Oh, wait. Maybe I can do it. With it. it might be easier to do it on my phone. What's that cool sound? I don't know. I think it was Bob. It sounded awesome. Oh, I was listening to a, a creepy story on the way here about some guy... Who befriended a catfish. But the catfish really wasn't a catfish. Ed, did you hear us talking about that channel that it's just, uh, it's not Chappie. He reads the scary stuff or the, it's called Less Read. And he's great to listen to, like if you're out and about or just want to listen to a good story. Yeah, I like channels like that because I put them on for like noise that I can listen to while I'm drawing. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good. His voice is good. You just are drawn in by it. Let's read. No, I, I haven't tried him yet. I did but I do listen Milo to too. about five of them. And it's all because yeah. of Chappie. Yeah, me too. There's a bunch of good ones out there. I wish Chappie still, hey, don't sit on my models. This cat is so ornery. <laughs> Look at, he's like down oh, here in my Ed. box of models. <laughs> you see? Okay. He, just, uh -huh. he doesn't like being shown. Yeah, he seems like he knows when you're going to show him. He always moves. Yeah, he does. Do you remember, um, I did a, a box opening one time when Ginger sent me some um, art supplies. 
and I had the box beside me and I was taking stuff out of it one at one thing at a time and showing people it was a live stream and then talking about, you know, the different things that she sent me. And Mario jumped in the box when it was like half full. He jumped in the box and he took his paws and shut the flaps of the box over the top oh. of himself. And then and then he would like stick his paw out with his claws and like feel around the top. And every time I tried to open up the bottle, the box or get anything out, he was like swiping at me. Do you remember that, Bob? I did. Yeah, it was a funny live stream just because of Mario. And then I remember I got out like a, a white paint and I took it out of the box, got past him and took it out of the box. And I was holding it up, showing everybody. And he was glaring at me like that belonged to him. And I took yep. it away from him. <laughs> yep. got, got in his things. Mario's a cool cat. Yeah, he is. I posted a video today of Milo. Not Yazzie, but Milo. And I put just like 15 seconds of the dueling banjos with it. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's getting a lot of... A lot of looks. A lot of looks. Yeah, I had well. to entertain myself while I was doing scraping algae. Not my favorite. They did have a lot of people, though, at that show or uh, thing today. Mating. I was going to ask you, and I forgot, a follow-up question. Yes. So did Ho does Holly go to the meetings, or did no. she did meet you? No? No. Uh, we went over to their house, and we played that game. And he actually, you know, he's he works for uh, the uh, Regal Theaters. Yeah. And we were going to go to uh, one of the Regal Theaters that serves dinner. And he was going to take us there, and we were going to watch a 10 o'clock show and eat at 9 or something like that. But Oh, cool. My Warfarin pill, I you know, I, I take this little thing that keeps two spare Warfarins in case I am not at home. I must have dropped one, because the last time I took one was I was at my sister, or my niece's uh, graduation party. And... Uh, because that ran a lot later. Remember, I was supposed to be on the show, I think, with you or your your Sunday night show, and I got stuck in Hickson. Well, I must have dropped the, my second pill because I always keep two pills in there, and so I didn't get to. We didn't get to do the movie tonight. You took one in the uh, truck coming back or going down. Oh, that's where it went. You that's... think? It, you think it went in the truck? No, that was my last one. I didn't refill it. I forgot all about that. But oh, you have your, your little bullet thing, just not any pills in it. Yeah, I was just carrying gotcha. an empty bullet. Gotcha. Well, I'm glad you remembered that. Well, but I had no idea that they even had a, a restaurant movie theater like that. It was just kind of neat that Sean offered. You were riding with a nurse and a pharmacist, so there was conversation. Yeah. <laughs> what are you taking? What's that for? <laughs> That's right. I just I can't believe the fireball fireball now. Are you saying Pam drinks? Yeah, that dueling banjo stuff is a good warning. If I can ever find a banjo for a decent price, I want to buy one to see if I can learn it. You know, I wonder if Rack knows the, I'm sure he does, the dueling banjos, how that would sound on the ukulele. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm trying to remember that as a request. He was telling me that you can get a banjo ukulele. And I just... Hybrid. Yeah, he said it costs about three hundred bucks. No, and I just don't know if I want to spend two hundred or three hundred bucks on a ukulele and then go out and buy a, a banjo. 
I could get a couple of nice reptile habitats for that. Yeah. That's for sure. <coughs> I'm gonna hide this, uh, hide my cam or whatever. I'm still here, but I've got to eat. I just realized again I didn't eat when I got out of the shower before you started, Pam. Actually, I haven't eaten yet today either. Well, I'm feeling it might, I'm feeling yeah, crazy, I'm crazy, crazier than usual. But in about 10 minutes, I'm going to end the stream, so oh, I'm going to make it, myself have to eat. It gets his wet brushes dirty, and then you end up stop. <laughs> hey, I got started, and I, or, I want to see this in daylight. Nothing like painting in the dark. Yeah, people don't realize how much color difference there is when you paint something underneath an artificial light. And that, between that and daylight, um, like if you have like a fluorescent light, it throws a really blue light. And an incandescent bulb throws a yellow light. So then when you see it in daylight, it's totally different. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I paint a lot at night, but I've got uh, uh, actually a fairly expensive desk lamp for painting that has both a fluorescent and an incandescent in it to balance each other out oh, and be nice. close to daylight. Michael Long, hello. Well, this one I'm using right now is definitely yellow. <laughs> and it looks really bright, but it really isn't. It's pretty dull still. I think it's only a 60 watt. Hey, Michael. Hi, Mike. Cool. Some people don't like to be called their short name. Yeah, hey, Michael, if you're one of those, I apologize. But it's in his, in his channel name, so it's hard not to. Well, it's like I kept calling Mitchell Mitch, it, you know, that was showing us around last week. Yeah. And I kept feeling bad I was calling him Mitch all the time. But when I think Mitchell, I think of last names. All right. I think I called him Mitchell. Chattanooga Edward. <laughs> yeah. Or um, Dayton Ed. That makes me sound like a cool guy. Right? He said it was cool and he helps you feeling well. Oh, thank you. I, I'm feeling pretty burned up. As in sunburned up. Not mad. You have something to put on it? I've been putting the aloe. That's good. Get yourself some bag bomb. Bag bomb. Bag bomb. It will last a jar, but it will last forever, and it's it's good for all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and you'll always have it in case your cows udders get sore. And I'd yeah. say when my kids were little, if they got sunburned, if I put covered them with bag bomb before you know like when it was just getting really red before it blistered they would not blister and they would not peel huh not it's really good stuff but you know petroleum is a, a gasoline product yeah well pvc has gone up so expensive i bet you gasoline and stuff is going to start going up Unless it already has, I don't know. A lot of times they just use it for a reason. They'll they'll raise prices for anything. I remember one time when, um, like in the early 70s, and there was a gas shortage, 
And I went to the art store and I was like, oh my God, the price of oil paints has gone up so much. And and the guy that was working in the store says, well, you know, that's because the gasoline price has gone up so much. And I was like, but oil paint is made with linseed oil. <laughs> it's not made with oil oil. <laughs> but they raised the price anyway. <laughs> wow. gonna say something but I don't remember what it is oh I learned something today so the guy speaking you know I was saying what about tree frogs as a predator and he says oh no tree frogs don't bother your fish at all and yeah well you know I got I lost a whole tub because of tree frogs right yeah. and after but you know I'm not gonna mess up his speech so I just let him go with it and I brought it up to him afterwards, and I said, you know, three years ago, I thought I had all these little tree frogs that I thought weren't going to be any problem in my guppy tank, and I had probably 200 of them. And it turned out they were eating all the fry. Yeah. And he said, there's only one type of tree frog in all of Tennessee that does that, and they're not here. Well, I don't live in Knoxville. <laughs> and I said, is it the gray Tennessee grief? green or gray frog and he said yes that's the one i said that's the one i got but then he said that one doesn't eat them it puts off a poison like a toad and it kills all the fish oh wow so sorry it was, it's okay it was killing all the frog. it wasn't they weren't eating them so that was interesting what was what was his um Topic. Tubbing. Ah. But I mean he's he's tubbing goldfish, which is a way different than guppies. Right. They'd like uh, some little tree frogs to get in with them, you know. Yeah. Well, and like he doesn't mind any uh dragonflies either, and it's like, oh. Right. And he said dragonflies won't be bad in your ponds, and it's like dragonflies will eat at least three guppies a day. You know, the yeah. big giant ones. But I'm not going to argue. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to be a nice guy and watch. But right. but then it turns out, you know, he he keeps uh, goldfish. So it's like, well, yeah, the gold. And he says, yeah, the goldfish will eat those newts. Well, okay, they'll, they'll eat everything. Oh, yeah. If they can get it in their mouth, they'll eat it. I was thinking about asking Nanfa if I could, because, you know, I'd take the whole videotape that whole talk last week mm -hmm. if I could post that but they might send a popo around to me so I may not ask them I would ask that wolf guy that he said saw me. you know he saw me doing that and people were taking pictures yeah I took a lot of pictures because yep. I, I wanted to uh, I liked how he identified so many natives But I wanted to talk to that guy afterwards, and he was gone. Oh, yeah. there's Priscilla. She says, hello, all. Hey, in Priscilla. California, we went to the beach and found snails and corals. Oh, wow. Awesome. I hope you're doing well, Priscilla. She was in the ER, you know, with that blood pressure and chest pain. Yeah. That's that's what she gets for being so far away from her sweetheart. Right. She's back over there now, so maybe she'll be have a normal BP. Yep. Oh God, diet root beer. That's what they'll have in heaven. Diet root beer. I I hope it's A and W root beer. It is. That's the best. It's the best, best in the diet for sure. I usually get like five things of it, and they've only got 20 of them stock. She says it turns out I have G E R D. GERD. G -E 
GFRD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. No, oh, I'm sorry. I hate to hear that you have a disease. She had probably told her to sleep with her bed elevated. Head of her bed. She said that her customers are better than everybody else's customers. And then she was holding a bird like what you like, Bob. A big old cockatoo. Oh, cool. But it had feathers. It wasn't a meth one. Wasn't a meth bird. No. Bob likes the meth birds. They know all the secrets, the recipes, you know. Yep. The meth birds have been through it. They know what life's about. Well, I don't know. I think this paint might be going pretty far. Priscilla, did they want you to go in and do a, like a barium swallow to see if you had a hiatal hernia or anything? We just got margaritas. Ooh. That sounds awesome. I had sweet tea today. Well, and this gross stuff. So, Pam, what did you guys talk about while I wasn't here? You. Uh oh. <laughs> what did we talk about? <laughs> were you packing them in? And then they found out about me and they were like, yeah. me No! <laughs> I don't think he got his foot in the paint yet, but his feet did hit the thing. You know, my Dharma is the same way, but it's anything to do with food, any kind of food, dog food, fish food. <coughs> she has to be in the middle of it. She has to taste it. Oh, taste it. I let Nico smell about everything, but most of it, he just turns his head away. But you can't do it with a, a hot wing, because he'll bite into a hot wing. Learn that the hard way. I figured there's no way a cat's going to bite a hot wing with all that sauce. And he did. He didn't care. Um, Rosie, the bobtail cat, you know, the calico looking one. I've been on a kick uh, that I do periodically that I like turnip greens, but it's only Glory brand and they are good southern turnip greens, but I can eat half a can cold and stick them in the fridge and then eat the other half the next day. But she was begging for them and so I let her have a spoon and she ate it and begged for more and she ate that. So she likes turnip greens. I bet they have a lot of vitamin K. Yep. I can't have those. No. Nope. Save them all for the cat. I wonder if your cat would eat them. Cats. The other cats don't want them. Baby cat doesn't like any human food. Uh, but Nico, he thinks whatever I'm eating is his. And then he's disgusted by most of what I eat. <laughs> Like, you know, I mean, in those beaver nuggets, and they're basically, you know, like, 
I don't know, candy popcorn or something. And he like will sniff that and go, oh my God, what are you eating? And look at me like I'm just disgusting. I wish I had got some of those Bucky nuggets now. Oh, I've already ate both bags. Of course, I shared them with those neighbors. I'm sure you can order them online. No, you can't. No? That's one of their gimmicks. The only way to get buggy nugget, mu nuggets is to go into a Bucky's. That's that's like their gimmick. I've we ought to fry them in a shell. Right. I've never seen anything like that, Bucky's. They Crazy. literally had a hundred gas pumps. They don't allow diesels either, like big trucks. Oh, I didn't notice that, but come to think of it. Um, let's see. Did you go into the bathroom? I did not. Their bathrooms are gigantic, and they have two bathroom attendants, the boys and the girls. And they, the toilets will clean your butt for you. Right. I don't know if they're heated or not. I've not actually used the the toilet the toilets but i've just been told but i i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if they're heated somebody was mean to you fish streams thought about getting another cat monster cat i would never be mean to her well the last foster cat i got mama c's turned out to be a witch she likes me, but she fights all the cats except Tibby. So I have to scream at her. Did you keep her? Mm hmm. Yeah, That's I got her. I paid for her and got her papers, filled out the contract, all that stuff. She's a sweet cat. She's just a heifer. Anybody attacks Nika, boy, I'm on their butt. It's like, you're going back to whoever's house you came from. It's mainly Dharma, the littlest cat, and the oldest. Well, no, Holly's the old, old one, but I don't know. I'm just gonna... Well, if you're in Europe and you, do, and you don't have a bidet, do they think that you're entirely, like, unsophisticated yeah. and nasty. And nasty, yes, it's just mm -hmm. in the U.S. that we don't normally have them. Once you go bidet, you never go back. I looked at getting one a few years ago when I got this house, and they are not cheap. We got the smart toilets up here. What my dad bought them when the toilet paper shortage was going on. And now I don't know if my mom would go consider going back. She begs everybody to use her toilets. She's like, don't oh, you like to go to the bathroom? Is it the one that has, is that that attachment? That, yeah, it's like a hookup thing with a yeah. triggers and stuff. And a, I don't know if it came with a, to a toilet seat or not. I don't know how it all worked. But, yeah, those look nice. You know, I got to say, not to sound gross, but it was pretty nice after my surgery. When I was living up here, just bending over and stuff wasn't like really in the cards. And having one of those is pretty nice. Oh, I bet. Pam, you sure do bring up some weird subjects to talk about. <laughs> my streams are always full of shit. I don't know how that makes Bob and I feel. Since <laughs> we're in a lot of them. <laughs> I caught that did, but I just deflected it. I was going to feed some fish that I don't usually feed on the stream, but after that, I got out of the mood. Yeah. Yep. 
the tanks I was cleaning were my bedroom and I never show those fish. I always start out here. Oh, it's the do you still have the uh, Jaguar in there? Oh no, that uh, the um, I know what you're talking about. What the hell is that thing called? Cuban? That cichlid that's mean, the little guy. I yeah. had over here in the 75. I finally caught it. I caught him today. Sorry. I had four big nets in there. Three of them are still down in the tank over there. But he was given those cichlosoma demeris. I think that's what they're called. Those are such sweet little cichlids. They're watching me now in his place. He's in a 39 gallon that I prepared for him in my bedroom. I was going to take it down and use it for reptiles, but I didn't have anything to put in it, so I put him in there today. Somebody was trying to give away some a free bag of baby fire mouth cichlids. It's a fish I've never kept. Well, no, that's not true. I did have some couple little fire mouths two summers ago, and Nathan's um, convict fish killed them. Oh, I don't think anybody took them. I think they were sitting on that table. Poor babies. They're such a pretty fish and inexpensive. I haven't, I, I haven't put Nathan's with the big the big male that I have of his left. I'm afraid he'll kill him. Tried once. Oh, all those little um Tanganyikan, whatever things, the little rock dwelling, cliff dwelling fish. There were six of those. Yep. They were all dead the next morning. Every one of them. Oh, no. Oh. Every one of them. Dang it. And I don't know what it was unless it was pH. Unless it was pH. But um, I acclimated them. They did well. They ate. They ate some uh, granules that I sprinkled in there just a little. They were every one dead the next day, and that's the 39 that I put that guy in then so I could, so these others wouldn't be tortured because there's eight of them, so I wanted them in a big tank. So I don't know. I got them because nobody wanted them, and those are the ones Mitchell talked about, you know, that he used to have and cautioned me about some and about some of the woes of keeping them. Well, his little guys are cute. The catfish I got from him. They're doing good. Every so often, I put some PVC pipe in there, and they go from one pipe to the other. That's all I see of them. And I got some fry in that tank. I don't know what it is. It's some type of an egg scatterer because it came in on plants that I got from Grant. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, Garden of Eden or Eater, right? And uh, so I'm just gonna let him grow up in there. He's a nice guy. I like oh my him. gosh, he's so nice. Um, well, if they're if they were on the plants, they might, huh, be more like Killies or something like that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Are they staying up in the top, or where are they staying? No, they're kind of swimming all over the place, but they got the whole 20 to themselves. There's like five of them, I think, or four. Uh, they're probably not killish. I bet you're right. They're some kind of scatterer. I was wondering if they were Danias of some type. Probably. Uh, oh, man. I some got... Guy... I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say I got some plants one time off of eBay, and I ended up with a bunch of little baby Corys. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. I have Killies in uh, the Cobenzis tank. I noticed, in fact, I made a little, sh little shorty video on them. And it's uh, just like something about be careful of your plants or something. Because you never know when you're moving. It was just a bunch I threw over there when I moved Killie fish into this 33. So I'd have room to make a tank for the mud skippers a bigger tank so they had eggs on them and hatched but they stay in the top all the time up in the plants well oh 
there was a guy today, he, from somebody else, somebody there is breeding the glowfish, Daniels, and he gave a whole bag, it was like 25 pink Daniels to a guy. Oh, wow. That was all bred, and he just had too many. So he brought it to one of the guys at the club, and it's like, that is the coolest looking fish that I've seen, you know, because well, I just, I'm shocked that they just, they're, the, they stay as bright, if not brighter, than the ones at the store. I, I think they look better than the ones at the store, but they're probably being, they're probably being fed much better food. Right. And not stressed out so bad. Um, what fish are you talking about, fish streams? And thank you for posting my next live stream, that grasshopper. I appreciate it. That would be tomorrow. It has Ed and Pam on it. That's our big money channel. Yeah, big remember money. guys, my, uh, Mike from the Fish Barn is going to be on Box Show tomorrow. It will be fun. And then next week he's having TM back again, which is going to be awesome. And um, on the 22nd, it's my birthday stream, and I think I'm going to get a bunch of art done for it and have Ed up with us, and we're just going to have a lot of fun that night. I think I'll start advertising it tomorrow, make a thumbnail and stuff and get that up because it's like a week and a half away. So, But for tonight, I'm going to say good night because I'm hungry. And I'm going to make myself something to eat. Awesome. So I'm going to end the stream. And everybody have a good night and a good rest of your weekend. And hopefully we'll see you guys on Bob's stream tomorrow. Thanks, Pam. Thank you, Pam. Good night. Yep. Thanks for coming up, guys. And thanks for the super chats. And we will see you guys tomorrow on Bob's stream. And Grasshopper says, Bob, don't swear yet. Pam hasn't ended the stream. <laughs> and thanks for coming up, Mike.